Hello, we're back with another podcast and some predictions for this week's football games. Um, the first game that we have is Alabama versus Tennessee. Um, Alabama is coming in at 4-0 and and Tennessee is coming in at 2-2 two and two this week. So for our first person to pick, let's go with Mardrakis. What do you got? Um, I'm going with Alabama in this one uh, just because uh, Tennessee lost a bad one um, last week to Kentucky 34-7. Um, Tennessee is very unsure about who they want at quarterback. Last week, they went through two quarterbacks. And uh, Alabama defense is just playing amazing right now. I mean, they're unstoppable right now. They're just – they're really playing fast. They're playing quick. They're on the ball. I mean, they're just playing out of their minds right now. And so, I'm going with Alabama with this one. Nice. Daniel, what's your thoughts? Uh, I'm going with Alabama as well. Uh, Tennessee just doesn't know what they are. Um, volatile football team. And, you know, as a Memphis fan, you can't pick Tennessee for anything. So, uh, roll tide. Nice. Um, Shin, what do you got this week for this game? Um, My pick is Alabama again. And Alabama has never let me down. This strong offensive team has not failed this season. They hit the 417-yard mark in each of the last two games. But Tennessee offense has failed to hit the 300 year mark in each of the last two games. By the way, they lost the just like Terry Volley in the last two games. I think the result of the game is obvious. Cool. Kevin, how about you? Well, I've, I've picked against Alabama the last two weeks. It didn't, didn't do me any good. So I'm going to, I'm going to roll tide this weekend. Tennessee hasn't played very good. So let's roll tide. Nice, smart choice. Okay, Ori, what you got? I'm gonna have to go with Alabama again. Uh, like Sharon said, they haven't let me down since. Um, they had a great win last week, so real tied. Cool, and for myself, I gotta go with the group and pick Alabama. They looked really strong so far, the 4-0, definitely looking to go 5-0 this week with the win. Moving on to our next game, we have Baylor and Texas. Baylor is only one and one on the season, and Texas is two and two going into this week. So let's start our predictions again with Mardrakis. What you got? Um, this week, I'm going with Texas. Um, even though they're coming off a, a two back-to-back losses, I just don't see Baylor bouncing back. Uh, they have not played last week due to COVID. And uh, I just expect um, – you know, Texas be up tempo. Uh, I don't see them losing this game. I don't see them slowing down. I feel like they're going to uh, gain a little bit of confidence off this win. I just truly believe they're going to win this game just because, um, like I said, they lost two back to back. And I just feel like they're going to play with a little chip on their shoulder. Agreed. Okay, Daniel, how about you? No, uh, I find it funny that Oriana said Alabama hasn't let them down, but the one team that has let her down week after week is our hometown, Texas Longhorns. So I'm going with <laughs> Baylor. Uh, because Texas can't win a football game. They've forgotten that they got to put the ball in the end zone to score points, not for the other team. So I'm going with the Baylor Bears this week. I like it. Switching it up. Um, Ori, what you got? I'm going to have to stick to my guns and say my hometown again, Texas. Um, they struggled the last couple games, but it's okay because they're going to come back this week. They're at home. They're playing a Baylor team that hasn't played in weeks. So I'm going to have to say Texas. Nice. Um, Shin, what do you have? I will say Oriana's hometown, Texas, this time. <laughs> I'm confident they can win this competition. First of all, this game is located in Texas, in their hometown. I believe this can inspire them. In addition, Texas is stronger than Baylor, I think. Baylor's quarterback, Charlie Brewer, has only 371 yards this season. I just think Negative. Cool. Kevin, how about you? Oh, I think I'm going to Texas as well. Baylor hasn't got to play that much this season. Texas is scoring almost 50 points a game. You know, they lost the last two. I don't think Baylor's going to be able to keep up. So let's go, Texas. Nice. Um, oh, this is a tough one for me. I picked Texas. They keep losing, but I think they're going to pull through this week. So I'll go with the Longhorns. Okay, our third game out of four, this one is NC State in North Carolina, and NC State's coming in at four and one, looking pretty strong so far, and North Carolina's coming in at three and one, so pretty even matchup. Um, let's see your thoughts, Mardrakis. 
Um, this is a, this is a tough matchup. You know, NC State coming in at ranked twenty third uh, right now, and North Carolina ranked fourteen. Um, uh, I think that NC State is a good team. I think they're well coached. Uh, I just don't see them um, stopping North Carolina run game with uh, Michael Carter. He's averaging about twelve yards a carry. That's the first time. Um, basically every time he touches the ball. And so I just don't feel like they, um, their defense is going to be able to stop their running game. So I'm going with North Carolina on this one. Cool. Daniel, what do you think? Yeah, this is probably the closest matchup of uh, the four games. Um, North Carolina got off to a rough start against our boy Florida, Mike Norvell in Florida State. Uh, but they had a great second half. I think that momentum carries in to this game and they take care of NC State this week. Ori, um, I'm gonna have to pick North Carolina as well. They're three and they're three and one. They're at home, and I think they're gonna have a lot of momentum from losing last week. Solid. Um, Shin, what do you have? Um, my choice is NC State. Actually, I think North uh, Carolina has no pass defense. Uh, although North Carolina won the game last year, I think this year's victory belongs to NC State. In North uh, Carolina's last match against Florida State, they got zero at first quarter and seven at second, but Florida got 31 at that time. I'm not really think uh, they can win this game. Thank you. Uh, Kevin, what you got? Uh, I think I'm going to go with North Carolina. Uh, NC State ranks 50th in uh, total offense allowed. Uh, I don't I don't think they'll uh, they'll be able to stop North Carolina. So I'm going to go Tar Heels for the win. Nice. And I'm also going to go Tar Heels for the win. Um, really hard to say, but just because they have the home field advantage, I'm going to go with them this week. And lastly, we got the Sunflower Showdown between the two Kansas teams, Kansas versus K-State. Um, Kansas is struggling this season so far, 0-4. Um, they're versing Kansas State, who's 3-1 and and ranked 20th. Let's go with Mardrakis to start us off. Um, yeah, this is, this is an easy one for me. I'm going with um, Kansas State. Uh, Kansas haven't uh, won a game all season long. Um, Kansas State obviously uh, been on the road, won uh, the last three games they've played. Um, I just don't see um, Kansas stopping them. Um, they have an unbelievable uh, Skylar Thompson uh, who has been, who's going to have an amazing game. He's been throwing the ball good. Um, no interception all season long. So I just feel like they got the momentum. I think they got the, a re really well coached team. And I think they're just going to come out victorious in this, uh, in this battle. Thank you, Daniel, what you got? Yeah, this one's super easy. Uh, I think even Kevin can get this one right. Um, <laughs> There's nothing worse than Kansas Jayhawk football. I feel terrible for their fans to have to watch that week after week. Um, it's just they should be demoted out of the Big 12. They should be in Conference USA or something. Um, so Kansas State is going to gonna win this game, you know, easily. So go Wildcats. Thank you. Oriana? Uh, I'm going to have to go with K-State as well. Um, they're at home. They won the last 11 matches. And, yeah, Kansas is a basketball school, not a football school. So we're going to have to go right. with K-State this week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Shin, how about you? Yeah, I think Kansas State um, also. They only lost the first game this season. And, by the way, since 2009, Kansas State has won the competition between these two teams for uh, no, 11 years. Cool. Kevin, how about you? Uh, I'm going to go Kansas State as well. I want to pick an underdog, but I don't think this is the one. Uh, Kansas State running back is averaging 130 yards per game. Um, I don't see Kansas stopping him, so I'm going to go Kansas State for the win. Cool. And lastly, I'm going to also go with Kansas State. No surprise. Um, there's no way the Jayhawks are going to stop them this week, and they're going to get the win. So. That is all for this week. We'll see how the games turn out and best of luck to everybody.